All right, third time's a charm, am I right? All right, welcome back to the third part of our first day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Well, technically third day for me, but first day for us together. So now we're going to be helping Tom Nook um, construct the houses. <laughs> Ty, the bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but you want to start on the homes now? Please, take these three housing kits. With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick out plots for three homes. Then, of course, these homes will be furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of furniture... Wow, talk about happy home designers. ...required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you'll need. Oh man, that's gonna be like a lot of recipes, probably. Then it's all for me. Thanks all for your help. Okay, let me check this out first. Wow, we increased by that many. Okay, so let's see how many furniture items we got. Oh my god, look at all this! This is crazy! Yeah, this is something I'm doing off screen, because I. Uh, ooh, ooh, wow, ooh. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, well, let me at least put the housing kits down so that way we can get a feel for how the mechanic works. Luckily, there's still one other thing I need to show off, so we're still gonna have a good amount of time. Okay, so I don't think there's really anything particular about where the houses need to be. Just the main thing to keep in mind, though, is, um, the house takes precedence over stuff that's already existing, so, you know, if there's a tree in the way, it's going to be destroyed. If there's a rock in the way, it's going to be destroyed. But luckily, that's why it's good you can visualize how the house is going to be laid out beforehand, so... Oh, oh. Um, let's see. So I guess this tree would be destroyed then, okay. Let me imagine it first. And so yeah, so, so you see the tree's gonna be destroyed. But that's fine. Um, I would say you'd be better off destroying trees than destroying rocks because um, trees you can plant, rocks you can't plant a rock. Hello? Hey, Utah? Yes, yes, this is Tom now. How goes your search for housing land? Stupendous! I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show you the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box while exterior items should be placed outside or around the plot. We want to make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you set up the plots for all three homes and place the required items, come report back to me. I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for your help. Okay, so let's check the lessons for here. Please submit the following. Okay, check interior one simple class furniture. I don't have anything. Let's see exterior items we need. Okay, and then check procedure. What's procedures? Okay. So there's that. So okay, so how we're gonna handle the houses. After we put all the housing plots down, and I do the one last thing that I want to show off, I'm going to cut it, and then we're going to come back, it's probably going to be like a couple minutes or hours later, where I'll come back, and then I'll show off um, all the stuff that I've made. And I think that'd be a good compromise. So, okay. So, I think I'm going to come back over here, actually. And... Build a house up here, maybe? But I don't want to destroy the rocks, so we need to place this pretty carefully. No, it's gonna destroy the rock. Never mind. Mm, let's see. Um, no, not here. These are my pear trees, actually, because I got in fruit from other islands, and so I need to protect them. Okay, let's try right here for a house. Okay, this is good, but let me just move it over a bit. 
Okay, so while I'm doing this, let me see here. Okay, well, while I'm doing this, let, let's let's talk for a while, guys. Oh, my back hurts a lot, actually. Uh, that's not what I want to talk about, though. So, uh, I guess I kind of want to talk about what's been going on in my life, I guess, since um, this whole coronavirus thing has been happening. Um... So, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually... Oh, and I need to cut this down, there. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a master's student. And so, for my university, they have done what a lot of other universities have been doing. They have been um, sending students home. But because I had cancer as a child, I am more medically vulnerable than others. So, it's been deemed better that I stay on campus. And so I've just been living on campus, but you know, it's been very quiet around here. Like, I can go a day and only see like single digits worth of people. It's pretty interesting. Um, and while I am a master's student, I also have two jobs. And so, one of my jobs has been affected. Um, so, what I do is I'm like a supervisor of basically a mini mart. And so. Because it's non-vital, I basically had not been able to work there. But my employers have been actually surprisingly good, actually. Because they have... I'm still going to get paid despite not being able to work, which is great. Um, but my second job is I manage the food pantry for my university. And so... I've been able to work that job, though, personally. And it's been great, you know. People have been eating food and stuff like that, so... That's been good. Er, Ty? It's me again. Sorry for the repeat calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing- Oh, are we getting this mechanic now? Growing up on the cliff, so toodle up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for a ladder. It's a deal to- Ooh, that's great! Anywho, keep up the good work, hmm? Okay. The ladder. That's great, because there are... Wait, hold on, where's the ladder? Oh, there it is. Okay, I wonder... Hold on, let me check this real quick, because I want to see if the ladder is renewable, or... Um, or if I need to make, like, multiple ladders. So, let me just run over to this DIY bench I have over here. So, you see, that's why I said it's important to have, like, multiple, or else I'd have to run all the way back somewhere. So, let me build this right quickly, because I never... I didn't know we were going to get this now. Okay. So let us, I guess, hold it. And let's try to go on up. Oop. That's my bamboo. I got it off the off another island. Okay, yeah, so you bring the ladder with you. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So this is actually an entirely new section of the island that I haven't had a chance to explore yet. So I guess I'll keep on talking about what's life been like for me, and we'll just explore this new part of the island that I've been to yet. So anyway, like I said, I haven't been able to work one job, but I've been getting paid for it, and I've been able to work my other job, so that's been pretty nice. Um, otherwise, though, I have been getting pretty used to the quiet. Like, the thing is, I'm severely introverted, so quiet is very befitting for me. I mean, obviously, this isn't the scenario that I wanted it to happen in, but... Yeah, so I'm pretty used to it now. Okay, so for this mantis, like I said, these are one of those bugs where, like, if you run up to them, they'll just start to fly away. I've actually caught a mantis already, though, so, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm getting pretty used to the quiet. Um, another thing... So, like I said, it's been interesting running the food pantry for my university, just because, like, you know, we see a lot of people who come in, because, you know, there's a lot of food insecurity with, like, people becoming unemployed, effectively becoming unemployed, um, and there's just a lot of uncertainty out there, and like I said in the first part, you know, if any of you, like, seriously, if any of you ever need someone to talk to, I do, I promise I will be there for you. You know, these are definitely times where we should not be abandoning one another. It's, you know, it's important for us to be there for each other. So, like, seriously, if you ever need someone to talk to, I am there for you. And the description for all my videos now, I'm also going to be including my e my personal email address. And so, 
if you ever need to talk to me, you can obviously comment on YouTube, um, the YouTube videos, and hopefully my subscribers and people who are visiting, you know, will also, I hopefully all of you will be kind to each other. But if you ever need to, like, privately talk to someone, know that you can directly, um, just email me to my private email. And I don't mind chatting with you all. I mean, I grant that I'm a bit slow responding to emails, but I will be faster for the sake of this, you know. That's for time called for desperate measures. So on and so forth. So yeah, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but you know, occasionally I may talk about, you know, how my day's been, and I definitely encourage you in the comments to also talk about how your day's been. And, you know, let's explore new horizons together. You know, got a title dropped out somehow. But okay, so that was pretty cool seeing the new island. There's a lot of weeds there, which is definitely good because there's a bunch of stuff you can do with weeds. Um, you can... There's some DIY recipes you can build with weeds. Um, you can also sell them. I think it sells for like 10 per. Um, so it's not necessarily worth it. Though, you do actually... Um, there's a Nook Miles achievement. You can get a Nook Miles Plus achievement for um, selling weed. Or you can do this. This is Greedy Weeder. You need to sell this many amount of weed to, um, get points. And I know what I'm saying, but, uh, you know, be mature. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that. So, the next thing I want to show up on screen is Dodo Airlines. So this is basically the train station or bus station of this game. So first off, you can come over here and you interact with this. You can send mail to your future self or your other villagers. So there's that. I'm 200 per. Oh, and there's different kinds of stationery there, so you don't need to, like, buy a specific stationery from the store anymore, which is pretty cool. Anyway, how can I help you out today? So you can turn on your internet settings and have your gate be open, and so with your gate open, anyone who wants to visit your island, they'll just, like, say, I want to visit an island, and they'll see that your gate's open, and they'll just come by. You don't need, like, permission or anything. Um, if you press, I want to fly, though, Roger. You want to head to a nearby island on local play or some far off island online play? So you can do just that. You'll if you were by an online play, that's how you can visit your friends who live far away. Local play, obviously, we have two switches near each other. Pretty straightforward. We'll sh hopefully show that off another time. There's someone I have in mind who I can visit. I'm not a YouTuber or anything, but like it should be fine. We'll show it off another time though. So there's that. But there is one other mechanic with the airlines that I do want to show off. But we're going to come back to the residential services building, or tent, I guess. But it's actually great timing to get the ladder. So we're going to interrupt with here. And we're going to redeem the miles. And for 2,000 points, this one's constantly renewable. For 2,000 points, you could get a Nook Miles ticket. With a Nook Miles ticket is... Well, let me get this first and then I'll show you all. And... Ambrosia Airport. There we go. And... No. There we go. Okay, so... Let's see here. Okay, we're gonna make a quick cut because I want to actually clear out my inventory except for my tools and one other thing. So, give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in the airport, so let's talk to Wilbur here. Or Orville, rather. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Ambrosia Airport. How can I help you out today? So, with that Nook Miles ticket, you're gonna want to say, I want to fly. Roger. By the way, it looks like you got a Nook Miles ticket on you, in case you feel like using that. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where'd you want to go? I want to use my Nook Miles ticket. So, you want to use your Nook Miles ticket? Roger. I'm ready to get into the sky right this minute, but let's just check. You all packed? Tools are all ready? Time for takeoff. So, yeah, you do want to bring your tools with you to the island. And so, while we're going there, let me explain... All right, let me get your... Let's get your airborne. So, basically what this is, it's going to pick... It's basically going to randomly pick an island that, like... It's going to randomly generate an island, and so it's going to fly you there. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Okay, never mind then. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? You mean go extinct? That is kind of weird that they pick Dodos out of everything. Like, there are flightless birds that still exist in our world, like, um, Kiwis and the Kakapo. 
as okay, I picked some very exotic examples. Um, the ostrich and the emu are the ones you probably know. All right, we are chewed down and docked at the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar, to go. Meanwhile, I'll be holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. You know, it's a good thing you said that in that order and not say go chop some bees and catch some trees. But yeah, so before we head off, let me talk to him. Bell bottom hip hop. This is no top glasses case. Do you require assistance? Over. So you can say you want to go home or you need tools. That's in case your tools break. Tools break. Let me just pull up the mileage menu for you. So this is in case you need stuff. And you, but there's also a DIY bench on the island, so you really should never need this unless it's an emergency. But they are 100 points, so it's not expensive by any means. So anyway, when you do the Nook's mileage coupon, well, anyway, when you do the Nook's mileage coupon, what you do is you come to a randomly generated island. Um, I don't know if you can get repeats, but you can't get repeat layouts, but I mean, I don't know if you could get repeat, like, exactly the same island, though. But anyway... Basically, the point of these islands is not like the island in New Leaf. The point of this island is basically a way for you to get resources after you drain resources on your island. Like, for example, there's a finite number of weeds on um, your island. So if you need more weeds, you can just use the Nook Mileage ticket, come here, and there's always going to be weeds on another island. Why well, I say always, technically I haven't been to all of them. You never know. Something can be randomly generated. Like, for example, um... One time I used an acknowledge ticket and I came to an island that had no trees, but no, um, of these trees, but it had, like, palm trees and it had bamboo shoots, which is very different. But, uh, yeah, so this, basically, this is the way for you to, um, for several things. For one thing, this is a way for you to get resources after you drain the resources on your island for that day. So you throw more rocks here, you could get clay, um, or, or, um, rocks from. You can also get more wood here from the palm tree, the evergreen trees, and these trees. You can also get fruit here. And this is one way where you can get fruit that isn't native to your island. So, for example, my island, we have apples as our native fruit. But as you can see here, we got more apples. But all islands... Well, I say all once again, but still. Islands that I've seen, they all have these coconut trees, and they will have... Uh, trees in the middle here that have a different that can have a kind of fruit on them. So this one's apples, but I've also gotten um, pears from the island before, a randomly generated island, and I've also gotten oranges. So this is kind of like how you're supposed to get fruit from other islands, aside from um, visiting other people online. And another thing that's very particular about the island that I need to go over is. Anything you leave on the island stays on the island. There's impossible for you to come back to this specific island. So don't drop anything you intend on keeping because it's essentially going to be deleted forever. And that's basically how the mechanic works. So it's not really like the super overpowered broken island that it was in New Leaf. It's basically a watered down version of your original island, which I don't mind. It's, it's fine. But there is one other thing I do want to bring up. So I'm going to be quiet for one second now. So you hear that like, eh, sound? There's the mole cricket. Mole crickets, they'll make that sound, and you want to listen to for where it's loudest, and try to dig it up. Once you dig it up, put the switch to your net, and then catch it. Um, I recommend you catch the mole cricket on the islands, on these randomly generated islands, because you never come back here, whereas on your home island, you're going to be digging a bunch of holes that you have to fill in yourself, and I don't think a mole cricket is worth all that effort, so I recommend you catch a mole cricket on these randomly generated islands. Now, the last thing I want to mention is here. For every time you go to one of these islands, there's going to be a random villager who's on the island. So let's talk to this guy, I'm assuming. Or girl? Oh, anyway. Great to meet you. How are you? I'm Twiggy. Welcome to my hypetastic island ghetto. Well, I'll just say that, rather. Okay, it's not my island, but it will be. I want to be a pop star and all pop stars own island. So you're a type man, bro? You're fab. I love meeting new folks, aka new fans. So what you can do is you talk to them and they'll give you an introduction. If you talk to them again, though. The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on the island would be to do it forever. 
Spending time on an island is the best way to find your inner girl and hug it as hard as you can. If I lived on an island, she first I'd be the common most relaxed bird pop star you've ever met. Well, good luck relaxing. Thanks! I'm gonna relax her so hard I'm gonna turn into a twiggy shaped puddle. And then tomorrow I'll get back to playing to be a world famous pop star. Cheapers. So what I could have done with the first option was you could invite villagers to your island. So that's one way you can get villagers to come to your island. I've actually invited two people, so hopefully they'll be coming soon. Hopefully they're one of the two people who I laid out housing plots for, and then maybe the third one's like a randomly generated one. So, yeah, that's how you can invite people to your island. That's one way you can invite villagers to your island. So you can invite people you like, and hopefully you'll like the two that I invited, because they look really cool. Like, I think they're actually, like, new villagers for this game. At least one of them I'm pretty sure is. But yeah, so that's basically how this island works. I re uh, my points are pretty easy to come by, so I don't mind leaving the island early. Usually I like to leave with like a full inventory, but we're gonna head back now though. No bomb J bro. This is stove top of water wing. Do you require over? I'm ready to go. You ready to pump pontoon and flash your mum player back to the Ambrosia? You positive? Be very positive, because I wouldn't want you leaving any behind. So again, you ready? So like I said, if you left any on an island, it's gone for good. So don't drop anything valuable. Yep. Roger. Lifting on the Ripper Oscar Whisker. I remember seeing the Dota Airlines in the Animal Crossing Direct, and uh, oh man. These are probably two of my favorite new characters to be added to the game. So yeah, so... Anytime you want to do this, just spend 2,000 points, which, like I said, are very easy to get if you're just playing the game normally. And you'll be able to redeem it at the airlines, and you can fly to a randomly generated island. So, let me just sit here for one moment. So, like I said, what we're going to be doing is, I'm going to be off-screen, we'll be building uh, these things that are going to be needed for adding the new houses today. And I'm going to be seeing you all later today, once I finish that all, just to kind of show off it being completed, and I also want to show off my house being newly decorated. So I'm going to see you all in what's probably going to be like a couple of hours, actually. So, uh, have fun. Alright, everyone, I am finally back. Oof. So, I have finally finished all three of the houses, so I made their exterior and their interiors. Or, well, no, I submitted down into the interior, and I made their exterior. I'll show them all off in a moment, but first let's check in with Tom Nook. Ah, Ty, hello, hello. How have things been going since we last spoke? Are you close to finishing the plots of furniture? Everything's finished. Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. I can start on home construction right away so we can welcome our new island residents. I vow to get this done quickly and get it done right. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about the folks moving in or out during my island broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on the sign for the plot. If you're curious, check the signs. And that's that, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Ah! Let me give you a token of my appreciation as promised. Yes, yes, this is for you. A fence? It's some fencing. You could surround your home to create a yard or surround some flowers to make a... Oh, okay. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Ambrosia. Ambrosia. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I'll offer DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. The selection will change daily and will offer a variety of designs. Check the Nook Stop sometime, hmm? Well, I couldn't have done this without you, Ty. That's for certain. Wait, are you gonna kick me out? Okay, I was about to say. Uh, let me check that, actually. I didn't know that's how they were gonna do fences in this game, but that's pretty cool, because, um... In New Leaf, how they did fences was it was a public's worst project. But this is definitely a good, um... new interpretation of it. Brick fences... Stone. Oh, I actually kind of like the stone fence. I'll think about it and maybe come back to it, because it would be nice to make some gardens. Because uh, I will... Uh, in a later episode, I'll explain how flowers work. 
because there's some slight differences from previous games. But okay, so before we end it off, let's go and check out each of the houses so we can see who's coming. Because I'm not 100% sure, like I, like I said, I invited two people, but I don't know if they're going to come or not. And there's a third person who I just outright don't know. Oh, and another thing is, um, when I was off on one of the islands on the Nook's home tour thing, or whatever it's called, I actually, um, invited another villager. I won't say who it is, not to spoil it, but, um, let me tell you, she is so adorable, it's wonderful. But, uh, let's see who's moving in here first. Coco. Okay, yeah, Coco's one of the villagers that I did invite. She actually, she looks... Okay, I'm gonna tell you, she's creepy but cool at the same time in terms of her character design. So I'm pretty curious to see how she is in terms of personality. Uh, oh yeah, wait, first let me show off um, what I did with the exterior. So what I did was, um, this is like the log recliner, basically. So I got this, and basically, you know, you could like lay out, bask in the sun. And over here, I have a water pump and a log stool, so you know, whenever you're pumping water, you can just pump it, you see? And you can actually interact with it, which is really cool, because I kind of doubt that would have happened in previous games. Well, you couldn't have decorated outside of the games anyway, so I guess that's true. But yeah, so there's my logic for that one. For this house, we have the bird bath, you know, just there for the birds. Um, over here, we have the natural wind table and the natural wind chair. Nice and simple, you know, if you have tea. Um, I may make some more chairs, so like, it could be like if you had guests over, that'd be pretty cool. Um, who's moving in here? Sprinkle. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is weird. Um, Sprinkle is actually the villager I invited. Um, I didn't know she was already going to move in here anyway, so it's a pretty funny coincidence, actually. But yeah, so, um, so I guess that does prove what I was saying. So, how villagers work in this game, apparently, is you can either go to random islands and invite them, or they can just randomly move in, and it so happened to be that a villager that I invited was already going to move in anyway. It's a beautiful coincidence, actually. Um, I'm guessing... I don't know, because I'm in mean, previous games, because of 3DS, you, if you pass by someone else, villagers can move from their village to yours. So I'm wondering if if you pass by someone else's Switch, or maybe if you visit someone's island, they may end up moving to your village. I don't know. But now, okay. So, hold on. So I had this hay bale, which is actually a bed, oddly enough. Honestly, I could not imagine sleeping on hay, but maybe someone who's more used to that lifestyle would. But, um, no, I love this, though. This is, like, a nice rocking bench that you can sit on and, like, look over to the sea. Sadly, you can't rotate the camera that way, um, without it being in camera mode, but, yeah. And then a little barrel, like, right next to it, maybe if you were gonna put stuff in it or on top of it. But anyway, I'm hoping this is the last villager I invited. Yes, Drago. And if you recognize... Okay, so Drago, I think that he's, he is a new villager, but if that name keys you to anything, yes, we are getting a dragon villager. Oh my god, let me tell you, because um, the island I went to, it was an island covered in bamboo. And so, I saw him, and it was like, I have to invite him. And actually, it's because of Drago that I'm also doing this playthrough, because, frankly, I want to brag that I have a dragon living in my village, sorry. But yeah, so those are the three villagers. Hopefully, they'll move in tomorrow, actually, because the bridge will also be finished tomorrow. If that's so, tomorrow's gonna be another busy day, and like, we also have the museum that's gonna be finished tomorrow, so... We are definitely not going to be short on things to do tomorrow. But let me check what's in this present, actually. And we got a velvet stool. Interesting. Okay, yeah, speaking of balloons, actually. Um, so I think I mentioned before, but you can shoot down balloons. Some balloons would be randomly flying over the island. And you shoot them down with your slingshot, simple enough. And you could get furniture, clothing items, or money. I actually once got, like, 10,000 bells from a balloon. So it... So, you know, definitely go out of your way to get them. And always keep a slingshot on you, because you never know when you find one. But yeah, this is where I got this concierge outfit, which is actually really cool looking. I really love it. And these boots I have on my foot, um, they're actually a DIY project. So there's trash you can fish up. You can fish up tires, um, boots, and tin can empty cans. And when you fish them up for the first time, your villager will get a DIY project idea. And so, with the boots, I was able to get two and make these recycled boots, which is pretty cool. With the empty can, I made this succulent plant, which I actually put in my house, which I'll show off. And with the tire, I got a tire toy, but then after I caught some more tires, I ended up getting this tire stack as an option as well. So, apparently there's like multiples you can get. So, maybe there's more you can do with the boots, for example. But yeah, okay. 
So I think we're pretty much good then. So I think we're gonna, yeah. So we're gonna head back in, and I wanna show off my house before we end it off for this episode and this whole day. And this three-part special, oh my god, it's gonna be crazy to edit this thing down. But alright, welcome to my house. So, just to kind of go a quick go around, um, I got this like hamster cage, and there's an like, actual hamster in there. You can't interact with them as far as I know. Yeah, no. Um, here's a mirror. Mirrors actually have a new use in this game. You can change up how you look in them. So that's why, like, don't really worry about... So you do a character creation screen at the beginning when you start a new game, but don't really worry if it's something you don't like later on, because once you get a mirror, you can change your skin color, hairstyle, eyes, nose, mouth, cheeks, and face paint if you have any. Those are custom design. And you can also change your gender anytime. So never. So this game especially, never feel bound to your options. This game is all about, you know, exploring new horizons. So yeah, um, this is the little bed thing that I got when I first moved in with my tent. Um, a lamp. Like I said, this is the trash bin. Sofa. Oh, wait, whoops. Hold on, let me rotate the camera. I got this flag. I don't remember where, though. I think I got it from Timmy or Tommy, though. Um, here's a little sewing kit. I love this, though. So right here is the succulent on the left side of the table. And then there's, like, a dinner set on the right. So it's kind of like if I want to eat dinner. Um, there's a pet bed, but there's no, like, actual pets. Um, here is a podium with a goldfish in it and a beautiful ornate bowl. I love it a lot. Um, this is a fossil here. Well, obviously. But, um, these fossil here and these two in the back are going to eventually have to go because, you know, like I said, tomorrow the museum is going to be, um, opening. So I'm going to be donating these. They just look in the, nice in the house right now. It almost looks like this deer thing got stuck in the wall. But anyway, here's my tool shelf, ironing board, vacuum, the, but the bidet, whatever it was called. Um, so yeah, it's basically like a really short sink. Um, you get a switch in the mail from Nintendo the first day you start playing. And I, so I have this little pillow here that I can sit on. Um, and last thing I want to show off this really cool, the jukebox. I got this randomly though. I think I got it from a, um, balloon actually. So how music works in this game is, if you have the music in your inventory, you can register it and it's added there. So I'm going to add Mr. KK and Space KK. And so you can use the plus and minus to um, raise or lower the volume. And so you can press select to play it or stop playing it. And um, here, let's see. And there you go. Yep, they'll just play music and you see it's all colorful and stuff. It's pretty cool, actually. I got really lucky on that. Because like most of these items I just found randomly I didn't even buy. Um, and then here's a floor lamp that's pretty cool. So you see like it's all... So I hope I get more of those. But anyway, I think that's everything now. So let me just turn off the music, though. There we go. So, in this episode, well, these three episodes, we started the game. Well, sort of started the game. We built three houses for villagers who are coming. The museum is coming tomorrow. We visited Nookling Junction. So, or Nook's Junction, rather. We did so many things today. So tomorrow, hopefully, we will be greeting all three of our new villagers the museum will be built, so, like, let me show you my inventory one more time. Like, you see all these bugs and fish here? Nearly all of them are going to be donated to the museum. I have a couple of doubles, like, I have two tarantulas, and I have two ore fish. Um, actually, I I may sell those, or I may keep them, I don't know, because, like, tarantulas are worth, like, 8000 and ore fish are worth 9000 which is actually a whole lot of money. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow we'll greet new villagers, hopefully, the bridge will be finished, we will be, um, oh, we'll be meeting the new character for the turnip, the stock market is called, um, and we'll be also doing the museum, so we got a lot to do tomorrow. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will now officially see you all tomorrow.